joined by the Irish tennis legend that is June Ann Fitzpatrick. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Where did it all start? It all started in Rushbrook County, Cork. That's why I started my tennis. And I first saw it being played in the old Fitzwilliam, and I thought it was gorgeous. I saw a very nice man called Joe Hackett playing, and he made it look so easy. I saw a Raymond Egan playing men's doubles, and it made it so easy. So I decided I was going to play. And then I started off. I went down, back home to Rushbrook, and everybody played with me down there, even though I hadn't any lessons. Went in one to Lansdowne, one Rushbrook, one the Irish Open in Fitzwilliam. What the age junior. were you then? I was just 14. 14? Yeah, it was under 15 and under 18 in those days. And you had no lessons? No. But tennis is hit the ball over the net, into the court, away from your opponent, and run like hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah and that's me. And you, you, you've played at this stage all over the world, haven't you? I have indeed. Yeah, I played junior Wimbledon when I was just 17, being beaten by the winner, 16-14 in the final set. So you I came mean, second? I came second, yeah which was very nice. No mean achievement at all. And then they invited me over to play in senior Wimbledon. Now in the meantime, I would played in about six weeks in England, like the East of England Championships and those. Few of us went over. And I won all the singles over there and I won the mixed doubles over there. So senior Wimbledon invited me to play in senior Wimbledon. And first I played with Heather Cole and then I played with Mary O'Sullivan then. And we got to the last 16 ladies doubles. And in the mixed, I played with Tommy Crook from the north of Ireland. And we got to the last 16. And then uh, I also played in the French Open, getting to the semi-final of the mixed. Then I got married and had a few children. In the meantime, I played, uh, I played league for Carrick Mines. Had great fun. Then once the children were grown up, I started to play senior tennis around the world. I was invited to most of the countries. I brought the first Irish team over, ladies Irish team, over to Hungary. We were really, they were delighted to see us. And since then, a lot of Irish ladies teams have gone over. Now, in, in the, when I was about 40, there was nothing for ladies here in the way of tennis. The leagues had only kind of started. They were kind of class one and class two. There was nothing else or no age groups. So I started the Evergreens and it went down like a bomb. So we had that for women because, and then the men asked us, could they join us? And I said, be delighted. So since then, we've had great fun. In fact, this week I was just playing a match against Leicester. They came over from England and I was playing them on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. They've just gone back. Now, in the meantime, I qualified very young here. Uh, I got a great ranking. I had won the Senior Hardcore Championship of Ireland when I was 16 and 17, beating two English internationals. I won the big uh, trophy on Tashka. Guy Jackson won the other, so you can see how young I was, but it was great fun. I can see how young you still are. Tell me about the, um, the Festival, Festival of Britain Championship. All right, I saw this, the Festival of Britain. It was under 21, and I thought I'd love to play in that. So I sent off an entry form in those days, you did. And I got back a letter saying, sorry, you can't enter, you're not a British citizen. And I showed it to my dad and he said, but you were born uh, before the common, we were taken out of the Commonwealth. So you are. So he wrote off a very nice letter. The next thing I got a letter back saying, of course you can play. So how long have you been a member here at Carrick Mines then, Jeanne? I've been a member of Carrick Mines for 56, about six or 60 years. Good Lord. Now I've seen it come from a little tiny club where we had about five grass courts who had no baselines to a magnificent club. 
Uh, the courts are terrific. We have seven artificial courts. We have three indoor courts. We have four croquis lawns that make eight beautiful tennis courts. Now, probably a lot of members don't know, but about 30 years ago, the American Davis Cup and the American team used to come over here and practice on our grass courts for Wimbledon or for a Davis Cup. I know because I used to give a hand. I was on the committee for the Davis Cup. And they, it was an old club then, but the hospitality was so great here. They loved coming. Then we were able to knock it down and we were able to build a magnificent club Every facility you can think of, I have a great life here. If it's raining, I go inside. If the sun is shining, I play outside. And whenever you are here, the sun shines. Well, yeah, to me it does, <laughs> actually it does. No, it's a wonderful club. And as I say, I've been here maybe 60 years. More years than you care to remember. I can remember. <laughs> Julianne Fitzpatrick, thank you very much indeed. You're very welcome.